The man that Leticia was last seen pictured with is the man that is held in jail tonight, but probable cause charges that he is facing alleging kidnapping and attempted strangulation are in reference to her son. The court finds probable cause for all the charges except for the arson too. 46 year old Brett Gitchell waived his right to appear in court. Prosecutors claim he is the last man to be seen with Leticia Martinez. And he actually claimed not to not recognize her until he was shown a photograph of her, which at that time he then admitted that he was at the baseball game with her. According to court documents, early Saturday morning, Gitchell kidnapped Leticia's adult son and allegedly strangled him. Uh, he made statements to the effect, I want to make sure your mother doesn't have to um, be burdened by you. Martinez's car was later found on fire. All of the information in this certification has been uh, verified or corroborated by cell phone data. Gitchell's location at each crime is a point the defense argued. I agree that a cell tower has is directional, but that area could be many, many square miles, and they cannot locate an individual device with precision unless they're actually using GPS. The judge found probable cause for kidnapping, assault, theft, attempted murder, and unlawful possession of a firearm. Bail will be set at his next appearance Saturday afternoon. Leticia's son, as well as friends and family, were in the courtroom. Whoever did this is, is just an awful, awful human being. And uh, to do that and to be that cruel to is reprehensible. Prosecutors say Gitchell's cell phone data showed he went to a remote mountain area the day after Leticia's disappearance and kidnapping of her son. Terrible thoughts came to my mind, which I'd rather not utter. Um, you know, we're all still trying to hope for the best as much as possible. Despite this news, the search continues as the community tries to find Leticia. It's so easy to feel um, hopeless or um, scared and all of the things, but we have each other, you know, and so um, we are just so determined to find her, find Leticia, you know, bring her home to her family, and we just want her safe. Leticia Martinez is still missing. The last time she was seen alive was a week ago at last Friday's Mariners game. The Seattle Police Department is asking anyone who might know something to call their violent crimes tip line. Live here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.